My name is Mark Hutchinson. I'm a professor in the School of Medicine uh, and I'm the director of the Australian Research Council Centre of Excellence for Nanoscale Biophotonics. So addiction is a very complex disease and unfortunately for scientists our understanding of addiction processes has get, got even more complicated in recent times. We understand that clearly there is a behavioural component of addiction. Uh, absolutely there are uh, the drive to consume unwanted drugs is, is, is known, but our understanding of the neuroscience has evolved beyond just the classic view of the reward pathways, the motivational pathways involved in addiction, now to understand how the immunology of the system, the body, is involved in creating the drive, the motivation to, to consume unsafe, unhealthy drugs like drugs of abuse. So the other 90% of the cells in our brain and spinal cord are the immune-like cells of the brain and spinal cord, and these cells are called glia. And these glial cells are very apt at seeing things that aren't supposed to be in the central nervous system. Now, when we know what we know about drugs of abuse is that they are foreign to the body, and they can be treated as such as foreign to the body. And unfortunately, our immunology sees them as this. And so our immunology responds in an aggressive uh, immune responding way, which turns up the volume controls on our reward processing to exacerbate the, re the unwanted rewarding signs that are associated with these drugs. It also opens up an opportunity for genetic testing of people to look at the immune um, mutations in their immunology genes that that contribute to addiction and it also opens up an opportunity for new types of drugs that target the immunology within the central nervous system as a brand new way to rather than substitute the drug of abuse to actually intervene at the immune level to cure someone hopefully of their abuse uh, potential uh, with a drug of abuse. So we understand a lot about the neuroscience of reward and motivation and drug action. That's because we have a, a wealth of tools to look at neuronal function. We can look at electrophysiology of the brain and, and individual neurons. We can image a lot of the neuronal wiring with techniques like fMRI uh, and, and straight MRI and CT. But to look at at the immunology of the system to understand how this brain immunology is contributing in real time to decision making processes around normal decisions but also around what happens after a drug of abuse uh, exposure. We just don't have that technology yet. And so that's what our center, the Center for Nanoscale Biophotonics, is currently creating are these next generation sensing tools that will let us see and measure what these immune like cells are doing in the brain and spinal cord so we can understand truly what the real time decision making consequences of the immunology are that contribute to drugs of abuse exposure.